Good morning, everyone. This is Lee Han from Stitch, and welcome to Tool School, an opportunity for us to share with you just a little bit more information on a variety of tools that will hopefully make your quilting life a little easier and a little better. So today we are going to talk about seam rippers. And you might think, what is there really to say about seam rippers? But there's a lot to say about seam rippers because there are a lot of types and styles of seam rippers available nowadays. So for example, we have the ergonomic seam ripper from Bonds, Bonds and Porter. It has a really hefty handle which really feels good in your hand. We have surgical seam rippers that are really sharp, but you have to know how to use them. Kai has also a serrated blade seam ripper that works really well, but again, it's nice to know how to use this guy. But I do like it for ripping out seams quickly. We have retractable seam rippers. Some of them have two sides, some of them have one, but these are popular as well. We have seam rippers with little rubber knobs on the top, and that little knob is to pull those thread bits out after you've ripped a seam. And then our two favorites are the Clover White Seam Ripper and of course the Bernina Seam Ripper. Both of these are really sharp. The Clover Seam Ripper is oval in shape so that it doesn't roll off your table, which I love. And it also has a nice little gripper here for your fingers, which feels really good. And lastly, we have the Electric Seam Ripper, which is the wall seam ripper. We had this on our Stuff Your Stocking a couple years ago and it's fabulous. This is a great ripper if you need to cut some long seams. It makes fast work out of that. The two tips I really want to share with you today about seam rippers are your seam ripper needs to feel good in your hand. If it doesn't feel good in your hand or it's awkward, then find another one. You want it to feel good in your hand and you'll know when you find it the one that you really like. The second tip that is probably the most important tip is your ripper needs to be sharp. If you want to cut those threads, and especially if you're using heavier weight thread, you want that ripper to be sharp. If you're still holding on to that seam ripper from sixth grade home ec class, it probably needs to be replaced and we can help you with that. So get yourself a new ripper, a really sharp ripper. It will make all the difference in the world. So that's just a short snippet of what we have available on seam rippers. Our next video, I'm gonna show you how to use each of these rippers because they all work just a little bit differently. So stay tuned.